the steering wheel is horrible on this thing it's peeling away on both sides and the wood needs sorting out really because the lack is peeling away or the top coat whatever it is I want to do it black now I've done I've tried this bit just spraying it to see how it would come out I think it'll look all right water is holding the airbag in is four t30 screws so I'll take them out now there's just this wire to pull out and then there's this bolt to undo and then I think behind there will be the clock spring and that's it steering wheels off and now the clock spring is built in I have already had to go sanding this side it feels smoother now so I'll sand this side and I have got some spray stuff now it's the same spray stuff that I used to spray the headlining trim I don't know how it will last long term so I might use this and if, if this doesn't work I'll have to get some proper dye stuff I forgot to press record on the first coat so anyway, let's put the second coat on now. It's had a few days to dry now. Um, feels absolutely fine, feels just like a leather steering wheel. Bearing in mind the woods are very dull and needs redoing. I'm a bit mixed of motions on it really, but what do you think? does look a little bit shiny which doesn't help which makes it look a little bit cheap but I think over time it will wear to more of a matte finish hopefully so I went mad and decided I didn't like black so I've just spent about 20 minutes getting it all off again I've got a better idea and you'll see what that is <laughs> So I sanded the wood down, got most of the lacquer off and I've just been over with the first coat of primer so I'm going over the second coat now first coat's always supposed to be thin So it's had two primers and what it now really needs now is just filling these cracks because you could feel them before before I started any of this when you were driving you'd feel like loads of splits I'll fill them now maybe put another coat of primer on and then we can start putting black on Phil has had a couple of hours to dry now like I say that will fill in any cracks I want to sand this off put another coat of primer on and start putting the top coats on it should help it feel really smooth This is what I'm using, it's just Simon's gloss black, it's supposed to have a super smooth finish and then a uh, black on top and that's supposed to be super smooth as well. Left it 10 minutes and it's already dry enough, so a second coat, probably do it three times and then I can lacquer it after that. I gave it a very quick rub down before and it's had its third coat of black like the L322's you can get them with a black steering wheel like this black, like this and you know how smooth they feel, this feels exactly the same It's had two coats of lacquer now um, looking pretty good I think I'll give it one or two more and then that should be it obviously I've still got the leather to do but you get the idea now and this has come out it couldn't be much better really just waiting for the leather dye to turn up I 
put two coats on it now. I found the dabbing wasn't great because it left like almost like bubbles everywhere. Like it left almost like dots everywhere. So I just rubbed it in with uh, this this instead. I think it's going to take quite a few coats, but um, I think it's a bit it's a bit whiter than it was originally by the looks of it. But I still think it'll go all right anyway. Three coats now. I was a little bit skeptical at first, but now it's starting to come too. So I, hope, I don't think it is the original colour. It's a bit lighter maybe, but I actually think it will look pretty good. Now as much as I like it, it just doesn't look right. So I've ordered the, exactly the same colour as the seats, which is a light stone beige, I think. It's alright, it'll be a good undercoat when I put the right stuff on. I thought I might just get away with it, because I do quite like the look of it, like the white and the black. But it's just too different from the rest of it. The right stuff's finally turned up, it's light stone beige. It's better, I'd be the right stuff. Now I found putting the last stuff on, using a brush worked pretty well. So I'm just going to try it. So I've gone mad again and it's just not coming out how I want it. I've just got it on too thick and too many layers and it just looks a mess. So I'm rubbing it all off again. And I've wasted a lot of time now, just messing it up. But there's no point wasting all that time just to have a rubbish, just have it looking rubbish. So I may as well do it properly. So I think I've definitely done the right thing, taking it back to nothing again and starting again because the colours matching so much better now and it's just sticking, settling in so much better as well. I think I've given it enough coats of this leather dye now. Um, like I was saying before, it's using the thinners to get the old stuff off has ruined the black edges which is just annoying. So what I might do is just re-spray the black edges like up to there somewhere and then I'll just re-lacquer the whole black again and then it, it should be fine but I'll have to wait for this to dry first. So I went mad again. Um, as you saw at first I put the tape there just to re-spray these edges but then it was leaving the line and you could feel it and I thought, sod it, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just live with it, but I couldn't in the end, so <laughs> I'm doing it all again. I've nearly finished it now, I've just got to lacquer the top one more time. It's a little bit rough on the edges where I had the issue of it peeling off. So next day now, it's, the leather's dried up pretty well. I'm disappointed with the black now because the overspray is just horrendous. And the edges where I struggled with are just crap. So I'm definitely going to come back to it. Maybe this winter I might just get a new steering wheel, I'm fed up of it. But um, it does look alright. I've never worked with leather before like this. So if it hadn't have gone wrong with the leather, the black would have been absolutely fine still. I should have just got the right colour in the first place, but I ended up the screw to put the air screw the airbag back on and I dropped my tool slid down there to the back of there so i'm gonna to have to take all this off to get my tool back well i found it for anybody that says i should have done the leather first before i did the black in the first place well i wanted to but i waited two weeks for the leather stuff to turn up and to find out it, it had just been failed to post anyway so to be fair they did send me it again but by then i'd already done the black because i got sick of waiting and only to find out after waiting two weeks for this it was the wrong color anyway so eventually I did get the right colour and you saw the rest. So as you've seen it kept going wrong, I just kept making mistakes doing the steering wheel. So anyway, I actually rubbed it all down and resprayed it all black again because I just wasn't happy with how it was came out really. But now what I'm finding is the paint is chipping away a bit in places and I don't really know why. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll show you how it's me showing you how not to do it. But um it still looks pretty good. So tell me what you think, should, should I have left it as wood or do you prefer the black? I prefer black I think. Soon got some more videos to come up on this thing. Um, the next one will be machine polishing it, you can see I've already made a start. And I've also got some new wheels for it as well. So the wheels I've got for it are a very sought after wheel. So if you're a P3A owner you probably know which wheels I'm talking about. Yeah.